Hey everybody, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Terry. Uh, this topic is going to be, is this your karmic? Okay, so we're just gonna dive right in. Um, there is a few people here in this collective that really um, are trying to see if they're with a karmic, okay? So bottom deck energy here we have is Ace of Swords. So something is not clear to you. Hmm. <laughs> oh my God, I forget my language was going to come out. But Spirit just said, excuse me where you had me fucked up at. Like, you thinking back at a moment that you went off collective. Like, you, you went the fuck off. Because somebody was trying to keep something hidden from you. And it really, like... To me, this is, you got me fucked up, okay? Like, for real. This is the high priestess. I'm not saying nothing, but then I'm causing the tower moment. Okay, so somebody thought it was sweet. They pushed you. This karmic pushed you. And they did this because of lack of clarity. They were hiding something. Yeah, they weren't fixing something. Maybe you had them, you wanted them to fix a situation, right? Here, I'm going to put this right here, too. So it's like, you may have wanted them to fix the situation. Just, you know, just tell me the truth. And they couldn't. And now they sitting here like, oh Lord, what did I do? You know, when all they really had, they had the opportunity right here to kind of come in and maybe fix things, but they didn't, you know? Yeah. Because they could never come back from that tower moment that you caused. Yep. When you walked away. And this is like, I destroyed shit when I walked away. Yeah, to a new passionate beginning. Because you felt like, you know, it was fake. Like, this person, you know, maybe y'all had a great sex life or something like that. You know, forgive me, but... Um, it just seems like an opportunity was misplaced, Okay. Um, and you really had to stop and like look in the mirror type of energy. And you like, you know what? I, I just can't, you know? So let me see. I'm going to do some clarification here first. And then we're going to get into the goodies. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess we already pretty much have a clear perspective here. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what else may come out. Okay, because I, I, I don't know. I get like you're starting to look in the mirror and know your worth. You're not speaking about it, though. Okay, you don't want this person, to, especially if you're with this person, you don't want them to catch wind or anything. Not like you're hiding, though, but it's like this person just, I don't know. Like, you don't know if the, you don't even know if you could trust this person. Look, here's that clarity. Like, you know what? I'm good all by myself. I'm really the catch. You know? Yeah, I'm really gonna have to just maybe just walk away from this situation fully. You know, that's what the clarity is here. Yeah, and go towards my wish fulfillment because I am more, right? I'm more than this. Like, I don't deserve that. And you are. I see you walking away. Can you do give me clarity on this tower? Please and thank you. Yeah, this was that chaos. It's like, look. It's too much going on. I'm finna shut all this down. That's what this was about. Like, oh. You know, I'm about to shut all this down. All this cycle, all this back and forth. You taking forever to give me stability. You not even choosing. You don't even know what you want. Because here go the karmic right here. That's using your masculine or your person for money. This person that they dealing with is highly materialistic. But this is your karmic, okay? So, um... And I have one for... Let me just get a clarity here. This one is a flip out. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like, you want to fight for your own victory. Okay, so it's like, I'm going to shut all this down. Oh. Yeah, this obsession. 
I mean, it was kind of heavy on your head, on your mind, should you just walk away whole time. And then it was like, you kept asking, you know, like, what's the situation? What's going on? You know, and they just, you, look, you got pissed off. That's what I say. And you just did everything. Can I get one for uh, Ace of Swords in reverse? Yep, that's what I'm saying. Queen of Swords energy. You're definitely a feminine watching this. That's all I'm going to say. You can be a male or a female, but you're a feminine. You may have Leo in your chart. It took a lot of strength for you to become this Queen of Swords, but you needed to. For your own sanity, for your own what it was that you wanted. Please disregard my band-aid. <laughs> Look, messages still got to get out regardless, right? Yeah, and you want a new, like, beginning, like, basically. A new cycle of just love, unconditional love. Not anyone that's going to play games, you know? You don't want to make these choices no more. One more. Yeah, you don't want to look like the fool again, making choices, being with people who can't express their emotion, can't fully be committed to you. Can I have one for a temperance in reverse? Please and thank you. Okay, this is what I'm saying. Temperance in reverse. This was your person. They may have earth in their chart. Look, an opportunity, loss, missed. Okay, so this is the person basically um, juggling your commitment. And I don't know, this person may have worked a lot as well. Or may have used work as an excuse or just was never happy because they were juggling. This person may have put money over you. And that could have been a situation as well. Um, this person was materialistic as well and always trying to prove a point, I feel like. This person could have been someone that was superficial, worried about the wrong things, and your relationship suffered as well. Putting energy into the wrong things. Definitely juggling. And they missed the opportunity with you. Because they took too long. A tower moment occurred. They didn't speak about it. Rushed forward. To hide. Another commitment. That they started with someone else. Okay, so this karmic cheated and started um, a new situation somewhere else due to the fact that, you know, they couldn't fix, they couldn't, you know, man up or woman up and fix the situation at hand. They were juggling too many things. They were putting you on the back burner. Okay. Can I have one for, okay, okay, okay. So this is why you, oh, some of you, well, look, look, look. I'm gonna just show you what you say. Moves in silence, caught a case. So for some of y'all, you found out that this person caught a case. They was infected, okay? Some got back to you along the lines and you like, you know what? This is just played out. You start ignoring them. And you start really dreaming, um, being nostalgic about what it is that you really want, you know? Uh, I don't think it was this groupy energy, okay? Because this is a reverse. You're coming out of that. You feel as though those type of people just make up lies. They don't even have facts. Um, wow. And you feel like you may be a highly spiritual person. You may feel like you can't really talk with people about spiritual things, especially this karmic as well. You may have thought you did and that you could in the past. This person may even have tried to like put up a fight when you was leaving. And that's why you really just shut shit down. Because you like, really? Really, Rick? Really, Samson? <laughs> I don't know. Um, can I have one for this? tower conflict and you know moment of celebration after 
head in the clouds. So it was like, when somebody just talking to you, you was just, look, you know how you be just thinking about something else and then somebody say something, you like, wait a minute, what? And yeah, that's how that happened. And that's how you went off. And now look, they crying over you. Sad, her upset. Let me get your energy. Yeah, here you go. Unfazed. Mm, mm, mm. Marrying for money. That's what I'm saying. Uh, this person may have tried to propose to you for money or may have thought you was trying to use them. Maybe that's what it was. You were in a relationship with this person and they tried to say that you was with them for their money. Whether it be a marriage, uh, so whatever type of commitment, an arrangement, whatever. That's what they tried to pull on you and you went off. Yeah. <laughs> Collect. Collective, like, what money? <laughs> Collective, y'all clowning. <laughs> you like, but you bite off my ideas. You feed off me. How am I using you for money, you know? Mm -hmm. You say all you do is start drama. You not that smart anyway. <laughs> you went off, Collective. You went the off. They have one for strength. You may have Leo on your chart. Look. Oh. So for some of you, um, yeah, you spoke a truth that maybe this person, you said like, well, maybe you're a deadbeat. You know, I'm not getting child services like neglect like that. Um, but I'm just getting like, well, you don't really spend time with them. No way. You don't really put in the work. You know, you should anyway. Or if you found out that this person has a baby or children with somebody else, it's like, Something is coming out with them kind of being like a deadbeat energy, right? And this is all happening over the internet. So it could be like a spouse or it could be like a, a baby mama or a baby father. Somebody here is being put on blast. Okay, one more. Yeah, moving on next. And you like, you know what? I can't even put up with that. Uh-uh. Look, hooked. Because all this person can offer is sex. You know, uh, sex and extra baggages, you know, like from a karmic. Look, force, fed up. They can't offer you anything. Let me get one for this hair font that they was juggling. This karmic couldn't have equal give and take. They were so focused on money. Look, they so... They were so focused on really being like superficial things, being in the limelight. You know, wanting what they wanted. You know, look. Scarcity tactics. Like, look, whole time, their karmic is starting to, like, their karma is starting to catch up with them. The karmic is becoming obsessed now and trying to force a situation. And that's possibly how you found out. Because your person being all showy and stuff, look, ain't shit. Mm, mm, mm. Ghosted, that's what you did. You left them fake smiles because you knew they was fake. Mm. And now they doing tarot on you. They abuse and tarot on you. They probably gotten a reading on you. Okay? Or collective. For some of you, you're getting caught up. In, um, you know, you're getting caught up in this uh, reading tarot readings. You've been watching a lot of tarot readings, you know. Um, can I just get one for the overall energy before I close out on this read on is this your karmic? What is the overall energy? Okay, so the overall energy here is honesty. You want this honesty from this karmic. You're being honest with yourself. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So it's like you're paying attention now. You're letting go of this grief. You're letting go. Like, look, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So it's like, I lost myself for a while. But I'm going to be honest with myself and I'm going to appreciate myself, you know? And this card right here is, for those of you moving forward and you want to know what to expect with this karmic moving forward. What can you expect with this karmic? You can expect. I am thankful for this life, the opportunities that it presents. 
you can expect this karmic to always be open and open arms wanting you to come back appreciating you still having that heart space for you for whenever you decide like yeah mm -hmm, let me go see what if you decide but they a door gonna always be open to you so if this message resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I appreciate all of the likes, all of the subscribes. If you all want to support the channel, um, book a personal reading, any and everything that has to do with Live, Laugh, Love, Terry, it will be down below in the description box. Um, until then, peace and love.